Hello, good day. For this week, we'll be um, solving questions on the SAT for grade 8. So, um, which we discussed about the SAT is the preliminary scholastic aptitude test. That is what you know you prepare you do for the preparation of you know to get to know more question or to understand a lot of things before you write your SAT questions. So we saw 15 questions for this week. All are for grade 8. You know, kind of questions you're going to be seeing for grade 8 PSAT. So, and then each video will be treating two questions each. And then on the last one, you know, we try to do uh, three questions. So for these questions, it says the sum of five consecutive integers is 30. What is the square of the largest of the five positive integers? Now, what we need to do in this place, you need to time yourself. There's no time, you know. You need to go straight, you know, to the to, you know, using short tips and getting your answer. There's no time. So there's something we can use, which we call. Peter, or we call, or there's another one we call what? POE. These are what the kind of strategic, you know, things you know you can use in getting your straight answer. And then Peter means plug in the answer, and then POE means process of elimination. So you have to eliminate, and then you solve it. Now, which they've given us that. What is the largest, the square of the largest or of the five positive integers? So if you look at this now, you can start from what? You don't need to check on the A or B. Go straight to what? To what? To C, which is the 49. What is the square? You know, the square root of this is what? Is 7. So which means the consecutive for this will be what? 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 I'm sure if you do that together this will give us 7 7 plus 7 will give us 14 and then 14 plus plus 11 which is this will give us what 25 so you can see it's out of it it's not what we are looking for okay now let's go to the next one now to the D what is the square of 64? That is what? 8. Now the consecutive for that will be what? 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. This will give us 9. And then 9 plus this will give us what? 17. And then this will give us 13. If we add that together, that is what? 30. So that means... What we are looking for, our answer is what is D. Good. Now, let's go to the number two question. It says what? How many factors does the number 24 have? Very simple. Go through the point. What you just need to do? What are the factors? Factors of 24. Very simple. All you just need to do. Remember, the first thing starts for what? One times 24. Part of the factors. Also, 2 times 12, you remember, 3 times what? 3 times 8, and then 4 times 6. So, I'm sure these are all what? The factors of 24. So, if we add all these together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, that means what? D is the answer of what we are looking for.